I'm Scott Williams, CEO of Discovery Park of America, and this is a moment of discovery. I'm going to share with you all a little bit about Richard Halliburton. Richard Halliburton was born near here in Brownsville, Tennessee, which is in Haywood County. He was born in 1900. His mother was a teacher and his father was an engineer, but he was also um, in real estate. Uh, eventually, the family, when he was very young, moved to Memphis, but Richard Halliburton was very, very um, weak and frail as a child and was never able to play outdoor sports and have fun. Eventually, his parents sent him up to uh, the famous Kellogg Center um, in Battle Creek, Michigan, in order for him to try and get healthy. While up there, he met a lot of people from up north and, and eventually decided to stay there and go to school with his friends at a school called Lawrenceville. Uh, that led him to Princeton, where he attended, and discovered that he loved to speak, he loved uh, to do lectures, and he loved to write. Um, when he was 19, he dropped out of school and went on adventures around the world. And what he discovered was he loved to travel around, experience the world, kind of like we have here at Discovery Park, and then he would write about it. He would write books, he would write magazine articles, he would lecture, and he became a super well-known celebrity um, in the world around the 1920s. Um, he would travel all around, uh, then write about it and make money, and then use that money to fund the next trip. Um, he was loved by many. His very first book um, was called The Royal Road to Romance, which I have a copy of here, and I highly recommend it if you like traveling. His second one was called The Glorious Adventure. And then from then on, um, he just became super famous. But the people who didn't respect him were the other writers and journalists because they didn't think he was uh, serious enough. And, you know, he wrote in his own very unique, very different style. And also, he admitted um, publicly that he was willing to put a coat of red paint on a story in order to make it more interesting to the public. So not all of his stories were 100% true, and it's a little bit difficult to know which were true and which were um, exaggerated a bit for effect. Um, his very last um, adventure, unfortunately, um, was the one that cost him his life. He was desperate for money. Um, he needed to find a way to make some money quick, so he agreed to sail a... Um, a junk, a Chinese junk is what it was called. It's a boat from Hong Kong to the San Francisco World's Fair um, where he would arrive to much fanfare. Unfortunately, um, a typhoon came through and um, sunk the boat and he and all the people on it. Um, and so um, that was the end of his life. However, his father back in Memphis wanted to make sure his son was never forgotten. So he published the letters um, that his son had written them through the years and also um, gave the money for a bell tower at Rhodes College. Um, I highly recommend you check out Richard Halliburton's work. It's quite fascinating. For more moments of discovery, visit us at Discovery Park of America here in Union City, Tennessee.